Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Omri Gazit. And you guys made some announcements in the cloud space. Could you talk a little bit about what those are? Sure. Um, today we announced four products in cloud, three of them in the Helion family, and one of them an open compute style uh, hardware platform. So the three Helion announcements are Helion Cloud Suite, which is where we take our platforms, OpenStack and Cloud Foundry, and bring them together with the best of our IT operations management portfolio. So things like CSA and OO and Propel and many other tools, and bring those into one package so that our customers have a single integrated way of getting all the cloud benefits, self-service, automation, CI, CD, and DevOps, microservices, containers, all in one package. And the second thing we announced was Helion Cloud System 10. This is the 10th version of our integrated hardware software offering where we take the Helion Cloud Suite and we basically make it work really well on top of our hardware infrastructure provisioning platform, OneView 3.0, it just came out as well. And that runs great on both of our rack-mounted hardware, so SL and DL lines, our blades, and our brand new Synergy systems. And finally, last but not least, is Helion Staccato 4.0. That ships as part of both Cloud System 10 and it ships as part of the Helion Cloud Suite. And it basically is a huge evolution in the Staccato product line. It brings with it Helion Cloud Foundry, which is a CS CFF certified version of Cloud Foundry. It brings with it the Helion Code Engine, which is a full CI CD pipeline for automating the build, test, deploy cycle. And it brings together a multi-cloud control plane for being able to manage multiple Cloud Foundry clusters, whether they're running on AWS or Azure or VMware or OpenStack, as well as a console that allows an administrator to manage all those applications that are deployed across all those clusters. And so before we get to the, the fourth announcement, can you go down into a little more detail about uh, the, this new version of Staccato and talk about what, how, do you, how do you foresee customers using it? So one of the things we keep hearing from CIOs all the time is we have to go faster, right? We have to be able to be more agile. We have to build more applications and we have to build them on a faster cadence. Why? Because software is going to be our competitive advantage. That is how we compete. And if we don't compete with software, someone else will and we'll be the disrupted. You know, going back to Meg's comment, you're either disrupting or you're being disrupted, right? And so Staccato is that tool that enables enterprises to go faster. It creates a platform as a service environment kind of like Heroku, you know, as, as one of the progenitors of platform as a service, except you can run that PaaS anywhere. You can run it on a public cloud, like AWS or Azure, or you can run it on a private cloud running on top of OpenStack, or on top of a more traditional VMware infrastructure. And the cool thing about Staccato is that developers have a complete self-service experience for building and deploying applications, while IT has a great environment that enables them to do security and compliance. I'll give you a small example. When you're deploying applications in VMs, every one of them is a snowflake. Every one of them has its own OS image. Every one of them needs to be patched when the next Heartbleed comes out. When you're running something like a Cloud Foundry, Basically, you have a single image that all of these applications are running on top of. So an admin can basically replace one image, patch one image, and all the applications that are running on that cluster automatically get patched. Here's another example, log aggregation. You can't do compliance without aggregating all the logs. We have the ability to aggregate all the logs from all the applications and pour them into a log drain so that you can actually achieve compliance, which ain't going away in a cloud environment. You know, that is a business imperative. That is regulation-wise something that all of our customers need to do. Now, now when you can, say you can pull those, all those logs together, is this, you can pull them in and then analyze them in anything you want to, or is there a proprietary system for doing that log analysis? It's a great question, and you know, that goes to our belief system, right? Our beliefs are twin. One is that the cloud is going to be hybrid because all of our enterprise customers tell us that. They tell us, we're gonna have IT running everywhere. AWS, Azure, and in private clouds, and in clouds that you guys manage for us. And then the other piece of our belief system is that the, that open ecosystems win out over closed ones over time. And so everything we do is open. And so with Staccato, um, 
that log aggregation capability can wire into anything. It can wire into an ELK stack. It can wire into Splunk. Whatever you use to aggregate your logs as a log drain in the end, we will feed information in there. And of course, we have log aggregation of our own in the Helion Cloud Suite that we make available to customers that are trying to get one integrated solution from HPE as opposed to assembling a set of best of breed components. We really have both kinds of customers. Customers that want one integrated suite for that, we have the Helion Cloud Suite, and then customers that want to source each layer of the stack from the vendor of their choice. And we love to work with customers in both models. All right, so now we need to talk about the fourth, the, the fourth announcement that you guys made. So that is uh, the CloudLine 3100, and that is the latest edition of our open compute style hardware. And that is a very storage dense enclosure so we can run 24 small form factor drives for very dense storage, great for running analytics workloads like Cassandra or Hadoop, and it's very, very power efficient. So we're very proud of the work that we're doing across all of our hardware form factors, whether that be Synergy, which is our flagship hardware announce, at this show, and it's, uh, it's, it's the composable infrastructure vision, right? Or whether that be rack-mounted hardware, which is very nice and uh, efficient, and you can run a system like OpenStack to take a whole bunch of DL380s or SL390s and make them into a cloud. Or whether that be our blade systems, which are great for a combination of scale-out and scale-up workloads. And finally, our cloud line, which is an open compute style commodity hardware that you know that that customers like Dropbox will use uh, to be able to realize super dense storage. Well, excellent. That sounds like you guys have a good path forward. Thank you very much, Jake. Always great to be here with you. Thanks.